Hey guys, Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website, where you can find over 400 video links to my YouTube videos right here and also blog posts. And if you go to the Get It Now page, you'll find my new Patreon page where I offer subscription-only comment, and this is the address. So I wanted to talk about Walmart. We'll start over here. Walmart scraps its plans to use robots to take inventory. So this is interesting because they have decided to use human employees to do their inventory counts, and there's two reasons for it. The first is that there's online business that's growing at Walmart given COVID. So a lot of people are ordering merchandise, picking it up at the stores, which means that they need to count inventory and manage inventory faster, and they're actually moving away from robots and back to human employees to do that. Over here, this is an internal document from Walmart talking about this very fact. And if you go toward the middle of the page here, you'll see the issues that they talk about. They talk about we need inventory speed, the time it takes to get items from the back room to the sales floor. We've got to be able to have human beings find these items, pick them off the shelves, scan to indicate that they're going out the door. And that really takes human involvement and not just robots. So this is the conclusion that they've come to. So why do we bring all this up? Well, it has a lot to do inventory management with financial ratios. And I want to talk about two in particular. So what you see on the spreadsheet is profitability ratios, solvency ratios, and I want to scroll up to liquidity ratios. Liquidity refers to the ability to generate enough current assets to pay current liabilities. This is short-term focus. Can you make it? Can you get enough cash in the door to operate short-term? Working capital, current assets, less current liabilities. You always want to have a positive number. And here's inventory turnover, which is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory, which says the good companies can rapidly increase cost of goods sold, sales in the numerator, and minimize average inventory in the denominator. Walmart's goal is to minimize that inventory number and maximize the sales number. The faster they can turn over inventory, that is, the higher this ratio is, the less money they have tied up in inventory and the more profitable they will become, and more importantly, the more cash they will retain. So we're going to increase turnover with the turnover ratio. Another issue with Walmart is almost everybody at Walmart pays with cash or credit card. So there are very few receivables. So if you look at the receivable side, credit sales, sales to people who don't pay you immediately divided by gross receivables. In Walmart's case, receivable turnover is very fast because as soon as the credit card pays them for a transaction, they get cash in the door. So there, there are very little in receivables. So in total, if you think about the entire accounting cycle for Walmart, selling an inventory, buying inventory, selling an inventory item, taking it off the shelf, giving it to a customer, and then the customer paying Walmart, their accounting cycle is very, very fast, which means they have a huge working capital number. You can also look at working capital as current ratio, which is current assets divided by current liabilities. And then finally, the quick ratio, which subtracts inventory from the working capital calculation, the thought being that inventory takes the longest time to collect in cash of all the current assets, which include, which include cash, prepaid assets, accounts receivable. So the quick ratio subtracts inventory, and you end up with current assets less inventory divided by current liability. So the reason that Walmart is such a cash machine and a profit machine is, is that they sell items and collect money extremely quickly and their liquidity ratios are very, very attractive. That being said, I wanted to wrap up by talking about the new Patreon page, which you can get to from the Get It Now button. Here's the page. You'll see that you can join as a subscriber and you will get subscriber-only content, both videos and blogs, on a monthly basis for joining. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.